Three, two, one. Oh, Brandon! <laughs> I, I can't. Yeah. Welcome back to the Lowdown <laughs> episode, I guess, three. three. This is going to be a disaster. Yeah, it probably is going to be really bad. We've moved for a temporary on time. Yeah, We're on just, location. Where there's some some fun things happening out in the arena that you will see later, and uh, so we are in here, so the people that are doing the hard labor out there can do their Work thing without peace. yeah without having to hear us yap and yap. Oh, they'll still hear us yap and yap, but we're gonna try not to have a heat stroke in here. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Well, I'd say let's not ramble, but I'm sitting between the two of you, so I don't really know how much we can avoid some of that. Okay, well, I think that Jake and I are pretty concise, personally. Are you? Yeah, we're straight to the point. A point, sure. I don't know if it's the point. <laughs> well, listen, as long as you get somewhere, it's about the journey, right? Yeah. See? Sure. Speaking of journeys, graduation is on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Finally get rid of Darren. Well, you know, he's, <laughs> he's been here long enough. Yeah, our own Darren Brinks graduating. Proud of him, proud of his hard work. He's been uh, doing a lot of good stuff for the program for a long time. Been the voice of the Griffins pretty much ever since we ever opened. Since. So yeah, ever it's since we got here. It's going to be hard to replace. Um, but Jake, I know that you'll do a good job doing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> time to step up, man. I don't know. I, could, I think I could, but I don't think you want that. I don't think the school wants that because I'll have my own twist on that. Yeah, we're gonna stop that right now. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, I it would be like an after dark stream. There you go. <laughs> All right. It, it just put eighteen plus on there, and we're good. That's what Darren does with all of his Twitch streams. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Oh, can't forget Dakota. Oh yeah, Dakota. Yep, true. Your boy's already, graduating. Already stepping on to his next journey. I know. Already employed, and dang, he's just crushing it mm -hmm. so congrats dakota um the benefits of appreciate of your liking help with pool. intermeals <laughs> <laughs> the benefits of liking the pool yes oh. not not i had my time my time has come to an end which is okay and now it's dakota's turn in Addison. so yeah. wish him all the best yeah mm -hmm. good luck soldier living in atchison kansas he's That's... not living in atchison Oh. He's doing what I did. He's I was going to say, oh, work, living in Missouri and working in Kansas? Yes. Oh, seven. That's, that's rough. That's, <laughs> no, that's the way to do it. Um, wait, I thought you would want to... No, I thought you would want to... No, Kansas is greedy when it comes to taxes. Yeah. You know what? It worked out for him, didn't it? Because now they're going to get the Chiefs. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's certainly on the top, on the table. Uh, I mean, the drawings look cool. I know you said they look a little... Uh, and they look kind of like but the what, Cowboy Stadium. Okay, yeah, but what but, do you, you have to have a dome, realistically. If you yes, build a new stadium, you, if, you have to have an indoor stadium. Yeah, so but what we, do you do with we it? We were having this conversation yesterday. The benefits of an outdoor venue in the Midwest, I mean, you, you can't deny that it's an advantage. Yeah, so for just keep... that come here, particularly in the winter. So keep the roof open when it's regular season games and playoffs. But what, then when you, you want to... You don't want to sit out in negative... 23 feels like temperatures? No, I'm saying keep it open for that. But oh, keep if you want to, if you, well, yeah, you can keep it open for that if you want the advantage. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time for the Super Bowl, you just close it. I don't see that happening. No, I don't see that They're happening. They're going to say, oh, it's snowing? Yeah, we want the roof. It might rain. We want the roof. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I gonna guess. It's going to change it so much. I mean, as my vote, honestly, if they do the dome, please still put grass in it because I am over all these to, turfed injuries. They need to do like that's what? That's my spiel and I'm getting off of it. Well, no, it's like, have you seen like what like a lot of the professional soccer teams over in Europe do with their fields now? Where it's like, it's like, like a greenhouse underneath the mm -hmm. field and like you just, it, like it breaks apart and then it drops well, down. And well, yeah, I mean, even, even Vegas is... Yep. Then it can you roll, it can out, roll yeah. out into the sun and come right back. Like there are ways to, to be do out, it. So. Be outside for like five minutes in the last that is sun, very, and then yeah, it's got all the sunshine any, it needs for the month. Any so. more than that, and it'll light on fire. So yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the picks, the draft picks? I love the first pick. Of course. I. You can stay over there. I wanted. To we go did tackle. exactly what I wanted us to do. We went big in the trenches, and we protected Jordan Love. I'm happy. So you guys can have all your flashy players, but. 
I'm, the Packers did exactly what we needed to do. Anyway. Hey, we took we took our tackle in the second <laughs> round. Yeah, you went to BYU. Listen, I've watched BYU play a lot of football. Uh-huh. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Is that a laugh track? I don't know what that is, but it creeped me out a little bit. Is playing a laugh track? I don't know. Where is it coming from? Now I'm... We're in the haunted room. Yeah, that sounded Uh, like it came from the camera. It's the ghost of Darren Brinks. (laughs) I mean, there's a ghost in Baker. There might as well be a ghost in in eSports. So, Um, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't know a ton about our other picks. Um, I really like the Wiley pick. I didn't know much about him going into the draft, but Mm -hmm. then... I did a little bit of research, and he used to play quarterback no, and then really? moved to tight end, and okay. he's really good, um, so really like smart. Travis. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got literally a Travis Kelsey regen. Randy sees about to I ride mean, into the sunset with his all-American more, wife. He's got, you got, you got, he's the got tri- two more years, and, I mean, we're going to need someone eventually. The kid, I mean, Wiley ran a 4-6 and has a stupid catch radius. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's a... Uh, yeah, I sense some bitterness. No, it's just it's just crazy how like all the teams around you guys just refuse to like their IQ just drops like fifty points anytime they're within like the radius of the Chiefs and they just do stupid things and they the trap. Let, they let the Chiefs it's get insane. what they want. It's insane. It's in, insane. In they just let them bully the league. I, mean, I just sorry, we're smarter than this. No, people. I mean it's cra- <laughs> it's cra- it's crazy to me. I just I just don't know how that keeps happening, but. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of good things about Jaden Hicks, the safety from Washington State, too. A lot of people think that he should not have fallen that late, and that's a position I mean, that we're going to need to. I'm glad we drafted a safety. Like, yeah. we needed to replace I think. Sneed. I think I everything. I hope he can live up to that. I think a lot of secondaries on the West Coast get overlooked because of how high level the offenses are on the west coast right like you look at what you look at what was going on in the pac 12 last year with the high level of quarterback play yeah i mean you know you talk about bo Nix, caleb Lo- or caleb williams just tearing it up over there and it's like a lot of defenses got torched last year but i don't know how much of that is actually on the defenses you know i mean it's just- I, you know here's the thing if if it was like 10 years ago and hicks was playing against colorado he probably would have done great like, if he got to play against, like, Shadur Sanders, he'd smoke everybody. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't get over Dion on Twitter yesterday, man. That was just a nuclear implosion of just ginormic proportions. Like, what, is, what are we doing here? Yeah, I, I didn't understand that. I, I didn't have a problem with him defending his kid when someone said you were no, four and eight. His and kid's not a top ten pick, Yes, Jake. He, will, he will be. No, he's not. He will be. Do you want to bet? <laughs> Legally, I'm not allowed to say yes. <laughs> this is documented. So Legally, I'm not answer. allowed to say yes. He will be a top ten pick. And sometimes that's on name alone, and that is unfortunate, but you can't argue. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. And, and his teammate. What, Travis Hunter? Yeah. I think Travis Hunter has a lot. I mean, he's the first legit two-way player we've seen in, I don't know, 20 years. Yeah, since I mean, Dion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, I think Travis Hunter's the better player. I don't think Shadur will be that good in the NFL. But I, I could be wrong. Now, that's but, a different argument. I could I'm be wrong. I'm just talking draft. Just, in college, he's going to look good enough on the offensive side of the ball. He throws. He has a good arm. He's accurate. He didn't have time last year, and he had one good receiver who was hurt and played defense at the same time. So it's going to be interesting. I don't think they're going to be much better than they were last year because they didn't really improve the roster and they lost some players. But I'm going to I'm going to throw out a hot take here for this year. Oh boy! They start with North Dakota State, Nebraska, and Colorado State. Okay, Colorado State got a little bit better. Nebraska fans seem to think Dylan Riola is the second coming of Jesus Christ, and North Dakota. And North What's Dakota, your point? And North Dakota State, you know, is always, you know, they, they, they've always got one. They've always got a giant killing in them somewhere. So my, I, I think Colorado starts one and two. And I think I think they start one and two, and I think by the end of the year, Dion's on the hot seat. I would agree. Yeah. I think they win the Colorado State <clears throat> game, and I do think Nebraska beats them because. 
Dylan Raiola is I, really, really good. I I refuse to believe propaganda out of Lincoln until they win at least eight games. Once once we start talking about that, like yes, if that's the case, I if that's the case, then that's great. I'm I can't, happy. but I can't argue with you because <laughs> even my wife loves to throw it back in my face that we are Nebraska with the history and we have done jack yeah. for the last few seasons. Yeah, I mean we all thought. Frost was going to be our ticket out of the gutter, but let's face it, that didn't happen. Didn't work. Not but at all. Matt Rule is going to be all right. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be able to work with Raiola. I think he's going to be really, really good. Yeah. I watched a lot of the, the spring game, and, I mean, he just looked like it was easy for him. Counterpoint. Nebraska's defense is really bad. <laughs> that might just, be true. Which is just sad. That I mean, might be true. That, that, uh, my black shirts. We, you we won't, can root for we won't KU and Missouri of... Western and you'll be fine. You've got like three football teams. Football? No. <laughs> Missouri Western, Nebraska. So, shush, shush. If you want to be on the winning side, I join the Missouri Tigers before the <laughs> next season starts. I, that is. You were going to run out of scholarships. That's fine with me. We're going to have to get rid of some of the guys that have been there. And yeah. Oh, now now who do you sound like you're turning into? Now that sounds like pack your bags. I'm bringing my own luggage. You just said Ludwig. <laughs> Good job. Yes, I did. You need to take a little swig of water. You're getting a little I'm, hot and mouthy. I'm <laughs> out of water. I guess there's a little bit in there still. <laughs> I, have to drink. I ran for the first time in like two years this morning, so I'm, I'm proud kind of, of you. dying. I mean, I haven't ran ever, so. State you know. former former two time <laughs> state qualifier gains 150 pounds and then starts trying to run. Doesn't really work out super well. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Royals? Let's <laughs> Riley's over here self deprecating. I'm just gonna change this, <laughs> the subject. <laughs> the Royals are surprising a lot of people this year. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that's. An understatement. My brother, he's coming into town, and he's like, how about we go to a Royals game? And my initial answer was, why? <laughs> and I kind of forgot that they're actually doing okay, which yeah. is kind of nice. I'm it's early, a, but... It I'm, is early. That is true. I'm looking forward to seeing the Royals on Wednesday. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. <laughs> Jake and I are going to go to a Royals game on a, Wednesday. I'm just going to be the responsible adult. To, to date year. this podcast, they're playing the Brewers on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So yeah. this this that's motivation for Connor to make sure that he gets out in time. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Connor. We mm-hmm. love you. Yeah. Although I have to say it, it hurts my soul a little bit because my brother-in-law is an Orioles fan and they're at the top of their division. So Which the it's AL a little East, bit of a... The AL East is absolutely loaded this year because the yes. Yankees are playing really good ball. Mm-hmm. The Orioles are playing good ball. Boston always figures out how to turn it on, and the Blue Jays also exist. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they have a cool Marriott in their stadium that you can go and stay at and watch games from there. I mean, I don't know who would want to do that, but tis congratulations. That's how you want to spend your money, by all means. It's expensive. I well, know. It's actually not that expensive though, well. because they do it in Canadian dollars, so it's monopoly money. That's fair. Cool, I've got some extra at home. <laughs> just go to the store and buy your groceries. <laughs> Can you just like trade your houses and everything too? Like, you, yeah, actually, so we, value? We, we, or the, we, deed, <laughs> the deeds. Can I just like really shell it out? You, you, can, you can upgrade, and then once you get four houses on them, you Excellent. can just press a button and it turns into a hotel. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Canada. I mean, yeah. But not your, not your national anthem, just oh, Canada. Silly gooses up job. there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I have to throw in one for the current. Undefeated. Yeah, playing pretty good. Pretty playing good. Pretty good. I mean, yeah. they're okay. What it's do you? Not, I mean, you are. What you're? You're what? what you four and zero, oh, five and zero. Oh? It says right there. Five one and zero. Oh. Five one and zero. Oh. Undefeated. I didn't even see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do my true. research, and I'm a, you know. I'm just gonna know the stat anyway. It's I mean, yeah. For you guys, but well, I mean, yeah, you, you, <laughs> and that's as you should, as yeah. you should. But we play our rival on Sunday, so that's gonna be fun, and it's at their place. Who do you play? Houston. These are why is Houston your rival? Are they the closest it, team? Yes, yes. There's the not place. a team in Dallas. No, there's one team in Texas. That's crazy. <laughs> The rest of the sports well, should take note. Col- Only having one team in Texas would be great. <laughs> I mean, there's been talk of adding uh, a club out in Colorado, um, but I think actually the newest clubs that got announced are Boston and uh, somewhere in Florida. I forget where. My, How many teams Miami. are there total? 14. 
Okay. Yeah, you guys gotta get those numbers up. Yeah, I mean, they're at this point they're on track to add two a year for the next foreseeable future at this rate. But unfortunately, I I hate it because the two teams that they just added they're they're struggling a little bit. Utah and uh, Bay City. But yeah, I mean Utah is such a. I mean. Because they play at Rio Tinto, right? They play in the same place as RSL. Yeah, and it, but I they're mean, building their own training facility. Did you see that? I didn't, yeah. but that's dope. Yeah, it's awesome. It, the soccer culture out there is just not... I mean, it's good. No hate to a lot of the clubs out there. Again, because I refed out there for a while, like in the Idaho, Utah area. And, like, there's some, there's some really passionate people. But it's tough when... Just like I think soccer culture in general in that well, in that area I, has shifted north and west to Seattle and it's Portland. It's not even that though. Like they're getting good sell. Not I don't think they're quite sell out, but highly attended um, yeah. games. It's just you know their first recruiting classes. Yeah, a it's little tough. less thick well, than some of the other clubs. And I think it's <laughs> tough too because like although they, we lost one of the current players out there, I'm still sad. <laughs> oh, and like an ex- was it an expansion draft? Yeah. I hate how MLS does that, I, and I hate how all I, I hate. You have opened the door to me talking about franchise leagues instead of instead of promotion and relegation and open based leagues like they do in the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. Just just for a moment, imagine Nebraska football is four and eight, and they're playing Tulane, and the winner gets to. Tulane could come up from Division Two, or Nebraska could go down to Division Two, and Tulane could go up to Division One. Imagine how sick that would be. Why are we still doing these closed leagues, man? It's stupid. America, wake up! <laughs> Where can we send him? <laughs> Boise. <laughs> yeah, I guess that there, there is that. It's its own little universe. <laughs> Uh, That's too funny. I know. I, I know. I opened the the soccer box. You guys can talk about the NBA now because I, I really don't care. Riley, let's hear your <laughs> prediction. Who's going to be playing in the conference finals for each side? Well, I think the Nuggets are kind of just. I think the Nuggets are a shoe in. I think that they're going okay to. I think that they're. I think that I mean honestly, I'm just gonna skip through. I'm just gonna say I think the Nuggets are gonna end. I think it's gonna be Nugget Celtics, personally. Okay, I've got the Timberwolves upsetting the Nuggets next round. I'm on the Anthony Edwards really? train. I think he, they play the t- Timberwolves play really good defense as a team. I mean, we saw what the Lakers were doing. They were blowing 25 point leads every game. Well, so yeah. Timberwolves aren't gonna do that. Serial chokers. What can I say? And. I think the Timberwolves have. You have Anthony Davis on your team. What do you expect? You would he expect played good. a lot. <laughs> he didn't happens. play bad. It was anyone not named Anthony Davis or LeBron that mm-hmm. was the reason they lost. Yeah. Um, but I think it'll be Timberwolves versus the Thunder, and then Celtics. I don't even know who they would play. Would it be the Bucks if they win? I. I think the Bucks are in such a tough spot because it's like, when is Giannis ever gonna play basketball again? I don't know, but they're <laughs> up in their series. Yeah, because Chris Middleton, they keep saying he's day to day, and then he Plays. keeps playing. And I mean, you still have you still have the cold blood killer himself, Dame Time. He hasn't been playing. Has he not been? He's missed the last. I did two. not realize that. Yeah, I, that's that shows you how much I've watched of the East. I mean, it's been when I have been watching games. Oh. It's been. The other side would be Knicks or I think the Celtics play the Cavs or Magic, whoever wins that mm-hmm. one. Wow, circa 2005. <laughs> and then the... Actually, that was the Eastern Conference Finals in... Cavs, Magic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was Braun's first year in the league, right? No. Second year? <laughs> Second or third. His first year, I think they lost to the Pistons in the playoffs his rookie year. Um, oh, in the first round, huh? That series, Cavs Magic was when he hit the buzzer beater in game two from, like, half court. Oh, yeah. But then they lost 4-1. That was the only game they won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what happens when you're playing with plumbers and carpenters on your team. Yeah. It, Braun and was he carried. still took him to 50 and 60 wins. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> no, I, I think Anthony Edwards, I think you're right. 
he needs to hire a better PR team because that man should be the face of the league. I think, and he just like he does not get the propaganda that he needs. I think this year is, especially if he wins this next series, he's there. But yeah, it's gonna be really hard because I also saw that Nikola Jokic is the leader in points, assists, and rebounds in the playoffs right now. So, as far as I'm concerned, until he, that man loses, he's the best player in the league. Coming off of a championship and back-to-back MVPs before Embiid stole last year's, he, I think he should have three-peated. I'm an Embiid fan. He went to KU, so that's if that's the two you cents. Don't, you don't if, want him to hear me yeah, talk about Embiid. If that's, if that's my two cents to this conversation, oh then careful what you say about that man. Uh, there's a lot to say about Joel Embiid. <laughs> there's a lot to say about I Joel know, Embiid. I'm going to keep my mouth closed on yeah. that one. Cool. Well, I mean, I think here's here's the deal, though. At the end of the day, uh, it, Jamal Murray has switched from the Toyota Camry to the Lambo. <laughs> as he does in the playoffs. As he does in the playoffs. As a Jazz fan, I would know. He has done this to us before, and he will continue to do it to the West. It's not very enjoyable to watch if your team is good enough to make the playoffs, which we just are not because Laurie Markkinen is our best player and it hurts. Um, but, like, I, he, I just think he's good enough to take that team and, like you said, him and Jokic together. Just Don't forget about Michael Porter Jr., the sniper in the corner. The only, Porter, the only Porter brother that is not behind bars, behind bars at the moment because yep. his three brothers have decided to just have all of their brain cells implode over the last three weeks. Yeah. Have you seen all that? That is a tough deal for that family. You're, uh, you're asking me that, but it's the NBA. Okay, so, so but it's, I, it's not I, even the just only the thing NBA. I, the only thing I can contribute other than the Embiid thing is the fact that I saw Trey Young over the weekend. That's, it's pretty dope. That is cool. Okay, so check this out, right? So Michael Porter Jr. is, like, superstar, like, doing a lot of great things. Max contract. Yeah, max contract. Okay. Okay, so his first brother... Like I a think month and a half and ago, his older brother. Yeah, his older brother got kicked out and banned from the NBA permanently for, for yeah for okay, throwing so games. I, I did know things. that. Yep. Then two weeks ago, one of his brothers, the third the, youngest. Yeah, the third youngest gets a manslaughter in DWI. Oh lord. And then two nights ago, his youngest brother also gets a DWI. <laughs> Well, uh, it's like what, if I'm if I'm MPJ, I'm just sitting here like man. Can somebody just give me some good publicity in my family, please? <laughs> yeah. Anything? Well, yeah. I, I got nothing. That's that's quite a... Uh, yeah. Yeesh. That's um, rough. And I, I feel like we should probably just end on, on those lovely high notes before Connor <laughs> screams at us. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry, Connor. I'll, I'll still give a shout-out to MBJ for playing good throughout all yeah. of that. That is true. He's playing very, very well and helping the Nuggets tremendously. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, Griffs, welcome back to Overtime, the time where we talk about uh, all things Missouri Western, just things going on around campus, and just kind of run down everything. And with it being kind of the end of the school year say, now, I mean, finals are, are closing up today, I think, and students are graduating on Sunday. It's insane. I don't know what happened know. to the campus year. Campus is already so quiet. I know, it's so great. I, mean, I go home and I have energy at the end of the day. I, mean, I don't that. have stress. I mean, the fact that you're wearing shorts and I can see your kneecaps is a little I am wearing shorts. But. I have never worn shorts to this job before until today. Mm -hmm. But I figure we've started disc golfing on our lunch breaks. And I'm, still I'm sore. I'm kind of tired of, like, trudging through <laughs> the woods trying to chase down my disc because I'm terrible. These two, right, you took classes at Emporia. You yes, are just yes, naturally talented at everything you touch, so you're good at that. <laughs> it sucks. Um, I'm terrible at disc golf. You're, we're not that bad. I just, it goes like 40 feet and then just But in all fairness, dies. you you had only one disc in the trees? And so did I. So. So did I. And so did he. So you're yeah, not that bad. But you, your disc in the trees is because you threw it. You overthrew you, you the hole from the tee it. box. He did overthrow it. it and was, then he was still in line, and I thought I had a chance to, to take the lead on it, and you still proved me wrong. Jake, so thanks you, for that. You won our intramurals tournament here on campus, right? <laughs> no, I did not. Not a, no. Not officially. Not officially. Oh, okay. I mean, but he did. He, yeah, he 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 won. He won. He <laughs> shot like two under. I really shouldn't have taught him how to 
back <laughs> yeah, <though>. yeah. Okay. <laughs> now I'm regretting that decision. <laughs> For some context, right? We're all sitting there Jeez. when we get done with our round, and um, Emily's talking about how because you know you've got an elbow problem, so you can't I, yeah, always I, do I like can this as much. Naturally, back. so so you have to kind of do like the the side arm throw, mm -hmm. um, which. You know, traditionally it's like a little bit further of a throw, right? It's it can got, be. It a little bit more yeah. power to it, right? And Jake, like, he tries it like once or twice. He's not very good. And, and then we're he walking goes, back, and all of a sudden we just see we yeah, like, like, like probably like sailed. 500 feet, like legitimately. Like I don't. I th listen. I've golfed with you enough times now to say <laughs> this. I think you threw that farther than I've ever seen you hit a drive. Probably, yeah. Which is saying something because I've and seen that, you hit some pretty fair, good. Drives. That was my furthest throw ever. But you still did it. And it was in a straight line. only throwing it three times when I've been throwing it that way for more years than I'm going to admit in front of the two of you. Probably so. think he's been alive. Probably. No. no. <laughs> See, listen. That, he said that, it to you agreed. But, but she just, agreed to it. But that just means he's a baby. So hey, and you're not. I'm and you're, 24. And you're not much above year. him. So. You're I'm going to be 27 I in like two months. God, <laughs> this, is why, this, is this is why we're playing our game later. Anyway, I'm I'm still listen. I was still a '90s kid. No, you if you did not grow up in the '90s, aka I spent you were the out first two and a half years no, of my life. No, you have in to the be 90s. out of diapers and have memories in order to call yourself a '90s kid. I remember anything from the '90s. Guarantee you don't. I remember those find, cups. I remember those cups with like the cool design on the side with the blue and purple design. You know what I'm talking about. I'm a 2000s baby. I don't no, know. he doesn't. You know what you know what I'm talking about. That was so vague. You could have been talking <laughs> no, about six cups, different things. Those cups that have like the squiggly line, they're like the purple squiggly line. It's got like the blue and purple um, design on them as well. You, you, come on, this is crazy. Every every 90s kid knows this. I know this what is you're talking yeah. About. I know you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's and 90s. So you, that's almost, 90s. I knew that ice cream with wooden spoons. I knew that. They have that at the current stadium, so that's just. Well, yeah, but that's just that's just bad concessions design, <laughs> not not that's a nice thing. They, they did get rid of those, so <laughs> it, it failed miserably at, at the walkthrough day. Um, anyway, uh, there, we'll we'll get into '90s stuff later. But how did the season finish for esports? Yeah, it was, it was good. Won a regular season conference championship. Um, made the conference finals uh, in Rocket League. Um, Tough, tough finish, but you know I think the team played really well, and mm -hmm. I think that we're in a good place for next year already. You know the Rocket League recruiting is done, and the team, the roster's set. You know working on an academy team. Actually, Talik, I talked to a couple of kids from Saint Joe Christian that are interested in coming Excellent. in playing on an academy team. They don't have a ton of experience playing go competitively, Lions. but there we go. Um, yeah, so you know, working on putting together an academy team, and that'll be good. I was gonna say good. you just signed a couple good recruits. Mm -hmm. Yep, we've signed a couple of pretty good recruits. We got to go down and do an in-person signing. Hence why, if you see some wrinkles in the backdrop, I had this. <laughs> I took this down to uh, Mid Buchanan and signed uh, signed Luke Buchanan, who is gonna be a, a really really good DPS for us on the Overwatch side of things. Nice. Uh, really excited to see what he does. And a couple more recruiting meetings today. Hopefully, we can, you know finish out the roster here in the next couple of weeks and have that said, I think we're in a really good place to be pretty competitive. So good. So you have an announcement. Yes, I do. It's sad. I'm sad, bittersweet, I guess I would say, because I'm excited. For you, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's just bitter for us. And I'm still bitter. You should yes. be happy for I your know, friends. I know. I am happy for you <laughs> and Lainey. Uh, yeah. No, um, moving back to Boise this summer. So uh, this is my last, this is my last year with Missouri Western. Um, it's been a heck of a couple of years from sports info to esports. Done a lot of crazy a things. Yeah, it's been a busy couple of years. Sports info never actually stopped. That is true. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, I did the stats for outside of lacrosse because I still don't understand that sport, even though I'm married to a lacrosse collegiate <laughs> athlete. Uh, I did the stats for pretty much every single Missouri Western home athletic event for the last two years. Um, I did the national championship here in St. Joe, which was crazy. I did. Mm -hmm. I've done. I've got a chance to do some pretty unreal things with the sports info side of things. So I'm I'm, I'm thankful for that, but I'm even more thankful for what we've done here. And yeah, I am not looking forward to not being here for it. But you know, um, I think it's the right move. I've got some things cooking back home, hopefully. So we're in a good place. Um, but yeah, it's. June sixth, all the all these great projects that we're working on, you know, it's you guys get to carry the torch forward on that. And so. brag about it when it's Yeah, that's fine. So, well, you know, you know we'll just that. always know who who did it. In your heart, you'll know. 
Yeah, me. It was Riley. That's fine. <laughs> it was Riley. I even might just name the esports arena after me. Sure. She said it on camera. Sure. You heard it. The Riley Boyd Memorial Esports Arena. I don't know if you want to call it memorial. You sound dead. <laughs> I will be at some point. <laughs> okay. Maybe 70 years from now, but oh, I mean, boy. give us just, you know. Get out ahead of it so you don't have to change the well, sign. Well, now that we're talking about <laughs> Riley dying, what do, you, what do you what did you have going on? We recently had our Pickle Palooza event um, teamed up with Josh Clary and the CSI and put that event on. Had a good turnout. Uh, a lot of faculty and staff came out to play. That's awesome. Yep, it was a good time. Um, our winning team was. It was Alejandro, yep. the tennis coach, yep. and, and the president of the Board of Governors. <laughs> yes. Bill Graves. And they beat right. our head football coach, Tyler Fenwick, and our uh, director of athletic compliance, Madeline Simmons. Yeah, it was a very good championship <laughs> matchup. <laughs> yeah, it was It was a lot of fun to watch. It was windy as all get out, out there, which yeah. was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we're doing it again in the fall. Yeah. So, and I, we've already got ideas to kind of make it even more entertaining. Yeah. I, I, so. I don't understand how that sport has just gripped this country. Like well, we were has. just talking about it. Not We have pickleball, but did you know there's a new thing called paddle? Have you heard of this? No. I saw it on the news the other day. It's similar to pickleball, but it's also like racquetball at the same time. Just play tennis. <laughs> no. Just play I can't tennis. Play, tennis. <laughs> play doubles tennis. I can't play tennis, so no. Just use your good arm. That, no. <laughs> you can't. You hobby. just don't want to. <laughs> well, apparently with paddle, it's a thicker paddle. Like, it's got two sides and there's some holes through it. It looks like a trampoline almost. Like, it's very bouncy. And you play with a ball that looks like a tennis ball, but it's not as compressed. And then you play off, like, glass walls or, a like, a cage. So it's almost like a hybrid racquetball and squash almost i mean i've never played squash so i, I the only but, reason but i know yes, what squash I mean, is is because it's i watched a very that, interesting concept i watched that episode of the office when jim had to go and delete the text off of his boss's phone i'm a friends fan so That's i don't even know what you're talking about so old. they talk about playing <laughs> racquetball in friends so it's more understandable than squash that just makes you hungry you didn't and not just in say a good the way. andy griffith show or something no <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, my God. Uh, Jake doesn't even know what the Andy Griffith show is. That's true. At least, I mean, I never watched it. I mean, you, I've watched it with my grandparents. Okay, see, that makes you sound older than me. Yeah, and I like weather. I like yeah, all sorts so of old he's, TV. He's I like mean, 27. He, mentally, he's like 86. 37. Well, I mean, the brain Listen, is right by the hair, that, and it's that, going, the hair's <laughs> going away. So like I, mean. I said, 86. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, you went to Golden Griffs. I did. I How did was go it? to Dol Dolden. <laughs> I went to Golden Griffs. It was great. I um, need to home him. <laughs> yeah, well, I need my mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Golden Griffs was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. The creative team here at Missouri Western is top class. Zach Brown, AJ Robbins just absolutely crushed the videos. Ryan Menley voicing videos again. It felt right. Nice. Um, it was it was really cool just to see all the accomplishments this year and. I, you know, I've, I've talked to a couple people about this, you know, at Golden Griffs and then at the after party as well at Room 108 with the athletic department. You know, this is my third time going to Golden Griffs. Mm -hmm. and I'm so sad I couldn't make it. I love well, that event. And the thing about this one that was so different than the first two that I've been to, this is the first Golden Griffs where I've been there where we actually had, like, a lot of really cool moments, right? Mm -hmm. Like. There's always good moments in college athletics. Anytime oh, you yeah. have a college athletic department, there's always going to be good moments, right? Mm -hmm. But as an athletic department, this was by far and away the best year we've had in a while. Mm -hmm. um, and there was just some really, like, you know, men's basketball had a great moment. You know, beating Northwest. Women's basketball won a conference championship. Football beat two ranked teams, including Emporia. Stingers down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were a better team. I can't, I can't deny I mean, this. We, I mean. We, we went, you know, we went all the way, um, the way that it always works. The spring sports championships always end up in the next year because it's mm -hmm. before, right? So we right. had tennis going to the Elite Eight. Um, we had all Americans in track and field. Yeah. We had first time MIAA champions in track and field. And it's like we never, we've never won the 400 as a school in our mm -hmm. school's history. Yeah. And we, we did that this year, right? Like, um, 
you know, baseball has seen a nice significant uptick with, you know, Coach Dembrowski. Softball continuing to push forward. They're probably going to win. Well, they're close to winning 30 games again. I don't know if they're going to get there. They're right on the precipice, right? Like, Yep, they got to slug through the MIAA, but I think they can do it. I mean, I, you know, what 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 Jess Fye has done with volleyball oh is gosh, ridiculous. Yes. Lacrosse beat Rockers for the first time. They went to the conference tournament for the second year in a row. I mean, it just everything – all of the teams in the athletic department for the first time this year, I think, or the first time since I've been here in three years, there's been a significant upward trend. And so it was just really cool to see, like, you know, when they do the clutch moment, when they do, like, the yeah. ring the bell moment and oh, stuff yeah. like that, right? Like, it wasn't like, oh, there's just one set. Like, oh, you like everyone knows, like, right. oh, this, that was the moment, right? Well, and it was funny to me because, you know, at all these other athletic things that I've been working, I kind of went down my rabbit hole of past memories and athletics and things like that, and I actually found a highlight video from the Golden Griffs when I was a GA. Mm -hmm. And so in 2016, shut it. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm I just. I'm, the, no, I'm, no, I'm just trying to think. 2016. I mean, so I worked in it, sports info for a year, so I have it, all these seasons memorized. In that, in that year, I mean, it, we had women won the conference. I was going to say that was women's basketball winning yep. both conference and, regular season and tournament, and tournament. right? Yep. And so, um, softball won regular season and tournament. Like, and there, there were so many other things. But since I was with basketball, and my wife was with softball. Those stick out so clear in my head. Um, I think soccer beat UCM for the first time ever that year. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, very, very cool to have seen, you know, my memories. And then, like you said, such a successful year that everybody had this year. So, um, yeah, I think um, you're going to have to keep in touch with all that when you leave. Uh, trust me, I will. You know, um, I think between my wife and I, we oh, yeah. have such a good connection with with this athletic department and the students here on campus. Like mm -hmm. We care enough. You know, we want to see everyone succeed. You know, yep. we want to see. Uh, I mean, I I am so excited for the day that I get to see Will Martin holding a trophy over his yeah, head. I can't yeah. even express or like, or Tyler Fenwick leading this team back to the to the NCAA tournament, which they almost they did. Almost, I mean, they were yeah, they were right, right there, there, you know, or, you know, um, Coach Fieldhouse, you know, making another Elite Eight. Um, there's just so many different things that I'm excited to see that we're in that direction, right? And I think. I mean, we, women's basketball won the first outright conference championship since 2018 this year, right? The last time we'd done any, last time we'd won a conference championship was volleyball 2018, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, the first of many for the Griffs, I think. Um, it, and that's what happens when you get the community together. Yep. Start, we're, we're seeing, you know, an increase in attendance at the games again, you mm -hmm. know, um, post COVID, we're finally starting to see things kind of tick back up. Yep. I think you know we talk about bridging the interstate and i think that that's happening, happening. so yeah. yeah it's it's a lot of really positive things um i i mean i'm excited to see like i mean heck just even it's not a small thing of course but like new turf and the gist right like that completes here on may yeah. 30th right like those it's those kind of things are cool i mean the new building that's being built down for the chiefs training camp right like mm -hmm. you know th those kind of things and i guess that's not even going to be a chiefs exclusive thing right no. like that's that's just another amenity that we have at football heck we have it's not even on here um they got announced two days ago right st joe hosting the show me bowls oh, i mean yeah, that's I huge that. that's, yeah, huge. that's huge um you know eight men this coming year and yeah. then the next four years after that it's all of them i mean i know my boys at st joe christian got to show up this year yeah it's i mean home turf i mean a <laughs> there's there's a lot of opportunities for a lot of teams to do some really cool things i mm -hmm. mean and in two years' time, I think we're hosting the volleyball state tournament as well. Mm, so starts this year. Is it this year? I think I'm I thought it was or next maybe it was year. 25. I, 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 think I think it's twenty five. Right. Um, yeah, there's just so many, and you know when you when you do stuff like that, and I know I'm rambling now, but I, I apologize. <laughs> you know when, when you when you do stuff like that, that just gets high school eyes on campus, yeah. right? And you you talk about winning your backyard. We talk about that all the time oh, when yeah. we talk about recruiting, right? For esports, and it's like it's the same thing. It helps these coaches win the backyard. It helps us, you know, it, that could be the difference between, you know, a kid that goes to loft that's like, well, they offered me up up at Northwest, they offered me here, but I, I was involved in an event going on here. Mm -hmm. and it, I mean, those are just the things that, you know, they, they, they can flip recruits and yep. it, 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 it wins you championships. Yeah, so exactly. a lot of small things add up. So, and that's, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a testament to, to Brett Easley's hard work, to Andy Carter's hard work, to mm -hmm. Teresa Grossbach's hard work. I mean, just the, the people in this department and around St. Joe are just, they're killing it right now. Yep, so. they really are.
onward and upward. True. True. Um, I don't know, do we have, I mean, anything else we even want to talk about in the overtime segment? Mm -hmm. I think that's going to kind of do it. I think you get to make fun of Jake and I now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For the first Let's time, go. Emily's going to make fun of us. So we're going to go ahead and cut it off here, and then we're going to come back with uh, round two of our What the Heck Is That? that we started last 90s week. 90s edition, though. Yeah, 90s edition. Emily thinks that she is so smart, but I can uh, almost tell, I can almost guarantee you I'm going to know at least one of these. Uh, we'll see. So I have zero confidence. <laughs> That's fair. No yawning. It's go time. Wake up, Jake. We got to lock yeah, in. Yeah, you guys. We got to lock in. Gotta get right she got zero out of three last time. You no, and no, no, I, no, no, if no, we no, get no, at no. least one. Hey, 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 hey. I was able to determine the no, Call of you, Duty apocalyptic thing. The zombie I thing. I showed you no, Ascension. No, no. And you you so, well, I didn't I know what it was I played, called. I played that last night, by the way. We need to. But I knew the reference. I just didn't know what it was called. So you can't take that away from me. Well, and give I knew, a half I knew it I'll was Rocket point. League. I just didn't know the term. It was the not, last one you stumped me 100. percent I'll give you which three, quarter, three quarters of a point. Yeah, I showed you. Which, I showed you Kogma from I League. I guarantee one of these you have at least one. You have no idea what it is. Try me. Oh, I am about to. Are you <laughs> All right, ready? Let's do it. It's let's run it. Time for what the heck is this 90s edition? Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna show you one in particular first. Okay, so what? Oh come oh, on! Oh come on! I That's know a projector. What that is. Yeah, you had to have the a cards over it. Yep. Okay. The, the teachers I would draw. The teachers would draw on it, and like you'd like do the math. I drew on those. Okay. Yep. See, I started off easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you burned in my brain for second grade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad to know that the technology was still that lax in your second grade, because I guarantee I had that in high school. So, next one. What is this logo for? I've seen it before. Uh huh. It is for a specific product. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a beverage. What kind? I'm pretty sure it's a soda. What kind? I'm pretty sure it's a kiwi strawberry soda. Not looking for a flavor. I got nothing. <laughs> I know it. I mean, I. You're right. It is a soda, yeah, but it is. I was a, it say, was I one of the very first of this particular kinds of soda. Kinds of it's soda. Uh -huh. It's not a flavor. Mm, is it like bottled soda? <laughs> no, this isn't 1926. <laughs> well, it's from your childhood. <laughs> That's not 1926. Yep. Go ahead and bleep that. <laughs> I have no idea. It was one of the first, if not the first, energizing sodas. Okay, so it's an energy drink. Yeah. No, it was it was called an energy soda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can't even begin to tell you how many nights I got hopped up on this stuff, and this was... Okay. There's a reason they stopped making it. So, okay, so, so I... That's as close as you know it, getting Rocket League from a rule one, right? So that's a half point, right? Get a half uh, point for that. Yeah, yeah. For a one and a half. I mean, you do. Yeah, so he I'm, doesn't. That's fair. Okay, so I'm at one and a half. I'm, at, you I'm not one. I'm good. I got one right. That's more than I thought I was gonna get. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna say this one's hard. Yeah, it is, because even Connor didn't know what this is. Okay. That, that's scary because he is an old soul. What? what? Oh come on. What movie is this? Oh. Any '90s kid knows exactly what movie is this is. Is that Flubber? No. Damn. They know exactly what movie this is just by this picture. I'm trying to think of 90s movies that are orange. Mm -hmm. The orange VHS tape is one of the most iconic things from gotta, the 90s. You gotta give me a second here. I gotta uh -huh. think about this. You got nothing? I don't think I've ever... Have you ever seen a VHS tape? Not an orange one. <laughs> I've seen normal looking ones, but mm -hmm. not an orange one. I think of 90s movies mm -hmm. that Flubber was a good guess. I mean, I mean, I mean that's Robin Williams. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it is kind of it it's makes, kind that of makes that. sense. Yeah. Um, I commend you for the guess. You didn't think I'd know Flubber. I didn't say that. I said you wouldn't know this. You give me a time-ish era uh, of the 90s. I'm, no. It's the 90s. That can That is 1990 to 1999. That's what you get. 
I mean, yeah. I, I'm just thinking of like Disney type movies, probably gonna be not animated. That's not a Lion King movie. Nope. No. Yeah, I don't know. You got nothing? No. I mean Flubber Flubber was Flubber was my I'm gonna Confidence, I'm gonna blow yes. you away. Okay. So. Well I will ask you you this question. What I'm gonna say nineties network is known for orange. I mean that's a Nickelodeon. Okay. Yeah. I knew that. Okay. Hint number one. Okay. There is a particular movie that came out in the nineties from Nickelodeon that 90s this came Nick from. Movies. See, I don't know the difference between nineties and early two thousands would be. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm trying to think is of Garfield old shows. Is Garfield a Nickelodeon movie? No, it is not. No. I'm trying to <laughs> but think But solid of, guess with the orange. I'm trying to think of old shows that, like, I... And some of them I'm getting, like... Was that... Was that Nick or was that something else? I mean... Do I need to play oh, you a is that, sound Oh, bite? is that... Is that Full House? Nope. No. They didn't have a movie. I can play you a sound bite. See if that'll it's spark it's anything. Not Fresh Prince. Nope. Is it... It's a movie, not a yeah, show. Yeah, but they made, Nick made a lot of movies on TV shows that were terrible. So, <laughs> but they made a lot that were not terrible, and they are absolute classics. You want a soundbite? Yeah. Oh, Rugrats. I the almost Rugrats guessed. Rugrats. I almost, Rugrats. I didn't guess that because I was thinking show. They made a movie. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't know that. No, I had that. You have it and you didn't know it? I did and have I it when I was younger. <laughs> yes, I, okay, that just, that was like a key into lock. Yes, I had that. But I you told still you, missed I, it. Yeah, I did. I still beat you, though. No, you didn't. Yes, I, I got like a point and a half. You didn't get one. You didn't get no, one. No, we acknowledge that I got the no. Call of Duty one, even though I didn't know the exact word. Okay, so. And then I kind of knew did the other tie? one was right. We, we can tie. You You're lost. just bad. <laughs> <laughs> you almost lost. Wait, that, that I was got bad. one. No, you got one, but you didn't get one and a half, so you lost. El bozo. You when didn't. Did you you get one and a half. What? How did I get no. one and a half? How did she? Because she knew it was Rocket League at least. Well, okay. Wait a second, though. To be fair, I showed you Rocket League cars. That's pretty easy. So that projector was easy. I went easy. So. I can't believe you didn't think we would know what a no, projector I, was. <laughs> you two are, like I told you, toddlers. I, so. Okay, my parent, my mom's a teacher. My dad works in schools. I grew up in education. What do you mean? Okay, I should have, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed you knew it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, I think that's going to probably do it for I this episode of I think that's going to do it for that yeah. episode, this episode, yep. I think what we, we should agree, though, punishment for Jake? Forfeit for losing? Or what if he shows us, like, Zoomer stuff? No, Lord. I would hope that we would do decent at that, but I guess we'll find out. Have you ever heard of Juice World? Mm. That's crazy. Juice That's, That's insane. Oof. <laughs> Look at his leg. <laughs> I'm confused. That's okay. But that's okay. That's okay. I swear. <laughs> All, All right. right, Griffins. <laughs> we'll see you next in two weeks, two I guess, weeks. on the next You'll episode of the Lowdown. Here. I will. I'll be here through June 6th. I've got, like, two more podcasts. So I'll do something crazy for the last one. We'll think of something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Maybe Don't I'll go, think. like, jump in a pond or something. <laughs> go play paintball. You guys want to go play paintball? Oh, boy. I played paintball once, and I got shot in the back of the head where my mask did not cover, and it was not fun. <laughs> Sounds like terrible. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> anyway, Have we got, we a good go. week. Enjoy your summer break. Later. Bye, Griff. See ya.